Hey guys, Kimberly here, and I wanted to share with you why I've started to use mini chat for my host coaching. The first reason is it cuts out the need to remember when I need to actually follow up with my host during the host coaching process. The second reason is I use videos as part of my host coaching, and I prefer to send these videos straight through Messenger, not as a YouTube link. I want them to watch them native in Messenger. Now, doing that, that means that I have to have them saved in my phone, which takes up a lot of space. I'm gonna be showing you how to use mini chat on the free version as if you have never used mini chat before. Okay, so once you log into mini chat, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the left-hand side under automation and click on sequences. A sequence is something that you can put someone into and it's kind of like a drip campaign. It's going to send them messages when you choose for them to receive them, which is perfect for host coaching. Before we get into this, I have to let you know that you have to be able to think about what you want your messages to look like from a bird's eye view. If you look at, it's kind of like the forest of the trees. If you look at it too closely or one at a time, you might miss something. Now, when you come to the sequence screen, there's going to be already a sequence that's kind of set up. It's a generic one. You can use that one or you can start from scratch. So I pressed the create a new sequence button and I called it test. Um, and so there's nothing in there. So I'm gonna use this button to create my new message. And so you can see it starts after one day. Now I actually, whenever people subscribe to my sequence, I want them to get the message right away. So come up here and choose immediately and save. And then we're gonna create a new reply. Here it can be text, it can be any of these things down here, you can choose to send a voice message, which is really nice so they can hear you, a video, an image, multiple images, it really just depends on whatever you wanna do. Um, but I do wanna show you guys, let me type your message here, and then you can have them choose different buttons. So if you want this to be a yes button, then you can send them a message right after they choose that yes button, like a reply back. And I want that yes button to say, great, super easy, let's go back. Now let's say I wanna do a button that says no. Now instead of sending them a message, maybe I want them to go to my website, done. So if they choose yes, they get a response back that says great. If they say no, it's gonna send them straight to my website. Today is the first day using this. So you can see I don't have that many people and they're only in the first day for my parties. Okay, so we are within the first video and you can see this is the area where you can edit. Um, but I mentioned in the video that I have verbiage that they can use, I have pictures pictures that they can use. And then I also have a done button. So I know once they are done, I like to look at it from the flow builder. So this is what the flow builder looks like. So you can see the message, you can see the video and you can see the three links. Now the three links is the part where this comes into play. You can see what they're going to get when they click on this link on this link and then on done. You can see everything at a bird's eye view. Now, 24 hours after that first message is sent, this second video will send for you. Now, the final tip is another post on their page. And again, I give them verbiage for what that looks like. And then to look for a very specific post that I post in their event and what they should comment on that post and you can see what both of those are right i want to say i'm ready who's here and then to tag everyone who is rsvp so between the final tip and the day after message i'm going to be messaging her off the cuff during her party and there are some things that i'll mention in there like when to tag people in certain things or that like we're going to extend her party what that looks like there are a couple ways to get people subscribe to your sequence so i'm going to show you both of those ways the first way is to directly subscribe them which might probably be the best way to do it but i'm going to show you a workaround so in order to subscribe someone to your sequence you're going to want to go to audience i know it's kind of blued out but it's over here on the left um it says dashboard and then audience so you'll choose audience then you will choose who you want to subscribe. They will pop up here. And then here where it says subscribe to sequences, you can hit subscribe. Here it says host coaching. So as soon as I click on that, it's pretty much going to start the sequence with this person, pretty easy. But you also wanna make sure that they know that it's going to start. So you wanna start that communication before you subscribe them. Now, if you have someone who is not subscribed to your bot, you're gonna need for them to subscribe. Now you can ask them to subscribe or you can do it this way. It's kind of a workaround. Now, if you have the free version, you can only have three growth tools. So these are my only three. Come over here to growth tools, and then you would do a new growth tool. 
Now you would want it to be a messenger reference URL. It's going to look like this. Make sure you title it something. Um, and you're gonna wanna edit your opt-in message. It says, here we go. To walk you through the tips and make this super interactive and fun, just click on the button below and I'll send you the first tip. Now, what this does by them clicking on this button, it's going to subscribe them to that sequence. So when I click on this button, you have different options of what you can do with the button, but if you scroll all the way down, you can do um, additional actions. So when you click on add an action, it gives you all different options. So of course, you'll choose subscribe to sequence. You'll choose your host coaching one, hit done. So as soon as they hit, I'm ready, it subscribes them to the sequence, and then immediately it sends them that very first message, and then it starts the process. Now you wanna make sure that it is published and then also, when you go back to the beginning, you wanna make sure that it is active. If it's not active, it's not going to work, and that is very, very important. So what I do is, in order to get this to start working, um, you'll click on Setup, and then this is the link that you're gonna to wanna to send people. So this is what my host coaching looks like. Hey lady, since we're a few days away from your party, I have a few pro tips that I'd love to share with you that my most successful hosts have used. Whenever you're ready, just click on the link below and I'll get you set up. And then I insert this link. So once they click on this link, it takes them to this one. Here we go to walk you through the tips and make it the super interactive and fun. Just click on this button and I'll send you the first tip. I'm ready, they get the first tip. So that's the logical progression. I hope that helped and I do wanna give you one word of caution. Some things that I've experienced in the past is without this, if I send the message to do complete their first tip and sometimes they don't complete that tip until the next day. So you have to be very vigilant with what this looks like. If they do not complete it, then you need to come back into ManyChat and extend, right? Because you do not want to send the, the second video until they've completed that first one. You might have to delete some of these. That's why I like the wish list and engaging. These two aren't really that necessary. I can tell that to her at any time, so that way I can get this one pushed out further. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop it down in the comments. Let me know. I hope this helps. If you think anyone would benefit from this, make sure you share that with them. And we'll see you later. Say bye, guys. Bye.